गुड मॉर्निंग एक्सपेरिमेंट हाफ डिफ्लेक्शन एम टू डिटरमाइन द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ अ गैल्बोनोमीटर बाई यूजिंग हाफ डिफ्लेक्शन मैथड एंड हेंस टू कैलकुलेट द करेंट फॉर द फुल स्केल डिविजन डिफ्लेक्शन दैट इज फिगर ऑफ मेरिट Apparatus required. Why is known as galvanometer? This galvanometer is used to detect the presence of the current, and galvanometer is used to note the balance point also. And uh, this is the resistance box. Basically, it contains several resistances, and the range of this resistance box is from one to thousand ohm. This is the dry cell battery, which contains one cell that is one point five volt is applied. to the meter bridge this is one way key which is used to connect the proper circuit in which when the key is closed then the circuit is working and when the key is open then circuit is not working this is the resistance box of range from 1 to 1000 ohm in this resistance box all the resistances are connected in series internally as shown in this diagram if two resistances are picked then both are activated and since they are connected in series then the resultant resistance will be obtained by adding both as when we pick 200 and 100 then the total resistance will be 300 ohm activated now principle used when a high resistance is connected in series then the galvanometer behaves as a voltmeter and when a small resistance is connected in parallel then galvanometer behaves as ammeter half deflection connection taking the higher resistance first connect the positive terminal of the galvanometer with one end of this resistance box then the negative terminal of galvanometer is connected to positive terminal of the battery then the second end of the battery is connected to one way key and then second second end of one way key is connected to the remaining end of this resistance box these are the series connection in which this galvanometer behave as voltmeter this is a smaller resistance box which is to be connected in parallel by which galvanometer behave as ammeter now connect this end to the galvanometer connect the second end of this resistance box to the one way key and the remaining end of the key is connected to the second point of galvanometer these connections are in parallel by which galvanometer behave as ammeter after all all the possible connections are made we introduce the battery in the circuit now from this uh, key and uh, the the high resistance in series is now activated and now now we draw out the resistance from the resistance box which gives the null deflection that is 7000 ohms now we have to continue the experiment beyond 7000 ohms after plug in these resistances we draw out the resistance that is 10000 ohms and the reading that we get is 6 units in the galvanometer now we introduce the parallel connection of the small resistance in the circuit and now we draw out the resistance which gives half the deflection of the original reading that is 50 now 50 ohms gives the reading of 4 units we get 
फोर यूनिट्स विच इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली हाफ ऑफ द ओरिजिनल वैल्यू ऑप्टेन बाय द हाई रेजिस्टेंस कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज नाउ वी हैव टू वैल्यूज ऑफ रेजिस्टेंसेज दैट इज आर इज इक्वल टू टेन थाउजेंड ओम्स एंड एस इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी ओम्स नाउ बाय यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ अ गैल्वेनोमीटर इज इक्वल टू आर डॉट एस अपॉन आर माइनस एस वी गेट द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द गैल्वेनोमीटर now we have to calculate figure of merit figure of merit is defined as the current required per division of deflection now to calculate figure of merit we remove the parallel connection and the series connection is le is left out and now we calculate the figure of merit by using the formula k is equal to 1 upon theta dot e upon r plus g where e is the EMF of the battery used that is 1.5 volts theta is the deflection shown originally by the galvanometer when high resistance was connected in series r is 10000 ohms and g is the calculated resistance of the galvanometer now the practical can be written as a apparatus theory and an observation table is made having several columns containing resistance deflection in the galvanometer shunt resistance half deflection and galvanometer resistance that we have calculated by the formula we have to calculate three such readings and then the mean resistance of the galvanometer is calculated and a neat and clean diagram of the circuit of the arc deflection experiment is drawn and result is written then we write precautions that we have to take during the experiment and then sources of error